everybody. I got my buddy Joe Bonamassa over here who bought a really killer guitar from us, a 54 Strat. That That's right. Was stunning. And part of our deal was a little trade. And uh, yeah, you know, we, I've been trading in some stuff and. Uh, and um, we, we, we did a thing with Epiphone where we uh, auctioned the guitar off for a good cause. So and some of these things have been in storage for years. This one I used to play the Ballad of John Henry. This thing knows that, that song in and out. And then this is a black purse with my name in it. And um, again, it's like, you know, the stuff is starting to pile up for me and I, I, I have to like, I have to like prioritize and, and make space. And if the stuff isn't being played, then it needs to move on to somebody who's going to play it, you know, and that's and, like the whole idea. And Joe being almost like family here, um, you know, we always give him first crack at a lot of cool stuff that I know he likes. I kind of have a good idea. Of right. The stuff he's a little weak for. And yeah, he's that's a right. victim. That's right. Uh, so, uh, so, but it's a, it's a way for him to kind of, you know, trade off some of the stuff he might not be using for some things that he would be using. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, your taste change and, and everything else. And and the last thing I need is another guitar, but I'm, I'm, I'm really thrilled that... You, you said know, that the, about a hundred guitars uh, Yeah, ago. exactly. <laughs> but the, 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 the last, you know, the thing you want to do is like have people play them, enjoy them. You know, it's like, right. it's like you can't have stuff that's... They're instruments. You know, it, my rule now is if it's been sitting for two years, then it needs to maybe move on. Move on. So, so, well, I hope, I hope these people, uh, people who buy these, uh, give them a good home. And, and Is there a little history on this guy? Well, this is, this is a replica of the Black Burst. Yeah. Um, that I had him put my name in the fingerboard. So the, underneath this, if you're so inclined, I don't suggest I doing this. Yeah. yeah, it's a is a flamey um, uh, sunburst Les Paul, but kind of like my original '60. That is the same same story. You know, it's like a flamey guitar underneath, you know, black black paint. And this has got my name in it. This one here was built for me 2009, right before we did the Albert Hall, and I ended up playing the Ballad of John Henry on it. Um, time and time again when, I, when it used to be in B. So I would drag this guitar around to Israel and Kuala Lumpur and all these crazy fly shows and I would drag this thing around in a big road case which by the way whoever buys it you can have the road case because there's only one. Is that the case for them? Or no, no I, will, I, will, the other one? Okay. I will have a semi truck bring the road case. <laughs> um, and I ended up, I ended up dragging this thing around for one song. And one of the shows we did in St. Petersburg, the gear didn't make it or something else, and the Ballad of John Henry at the time was my biggest song, and I had to play it. So what I did was I just said, okay, well, I'm gonna learn how to play an E standard tuning, because I only had two guitars with me. And once I did that, I was like, oh, this is much easier to play an E. I just should just learn how to sing it in E. So then that's when this, this, this one uh, was retired, so. And then this one here, I've been playing off and on for the last year, year or so. Um, this was a, my open tuning guitar um, before I, I, I started dragging out the uh, the original Firebird that I bought from Norman. So, and uh, that's that's about that. So they're they're cool guitars. It's a little bit more beat up than the than the than the than the original one that I have. But um, they gotta when they age them, they gotta do something. Yeah. You can't call it an aged guitar and it be mint. Not be aged. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. Well, thank you, Joe. I You're welcome, Norm. As always, you know. As, as always, and, and um, I'll I'll send you a picture of the two 54s together, the hardtail okay. and the yeah. and the and the tremolo. It's that's a that's a dream set for me. So. Well, we have a lot of fun talking guitars and doing guitars, and uh, one of the people who really knows his stuff, and he's a young man. Very unusual to know all the stuff that he does. Is Joe and. Uh, we always have some great conversations. I'm going to go on the blues cruise and this we're year, going yeah. to have another uh, guitar talk. Yeah, yeah we should talk about like we were just talking off the cameras. Like we should just talk about stuff that companies should make. You know, you've been buying this stuff for so many. You've seen so many one-offs and cool things that they do. It's like it's just one of those things that you just you know. There's a lot of a lot of that kind of stuff they should be making. This well, is we'll try to put the companies in the right direction. Just, you know. just nudge them, you know? Yeah. Use the double neck, just nudge them in the right direction. There you go. Anyhow, Joe Bonamassa right here at Norm's. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you, Joe, as usual. Always cool. good to see you.